How good are you at math? You're probably not as good as these teenagers in our next story. Six Israeli high schoolers have just taken home medals for their outstanding performance at the 60th International Mathematical Olympiad. Yes, this is a real event. Every year, students from 112 Deron countries compete to show off their math skills. And trust me, you don't want to even take a stab at some of the questions they're dealing with. In fact, I didn't, and I don't think I ever will. Anyhow, overall, Israelis finished in 15th place, which is pretty exciting for such a tiny little country. Ido Kalshon from Nataf took home a gold medal, three more high schoolers took home silver medals, and two more took home the bronze. Not bad, Israel, not bad. Now, the Israeli competitors are all members of the Future Scientist Center, which is a program for gifted students that is supported by the Education Ministry and the National Cyber Bureau of the Prime Minister's Office. But get this. It looks like Israeli teens aren't just winners at math. A mere week ago, Israeli won, Israelis won two gold, two silver, and one bronze at the 50th International Physics Olympiad, which was held in Tel Aviv for the first time in history. All right, it's time for What is Trending with our very own Nitney Mins. And so, Nitney, what is going viral this week? Hey, Natasha, two words, Gal Gadot. That's it. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's always got to get What is new with Israel's Wonder Woman? I feel like she's always trending. Yeah, Natasha, obviously. At this point, she is basically Israeli royalty. This time, though, it looks like she's going to be playing Wonder Woman again, only this time a real-life Wonder Woman. Mm. Um, Gadot will be featured in a new miniseries on Showtime as actress and inventor Hedy Lamar. So tell us a bit about who Hedy Lamar is, because she's been in previous movies, but this is new, obviously. Yeah, definitely. So back in the 1930s, Hedy Lamar was this stunning beauty who came to Hollywood from Europe. Uh, she worked with top stars like Judy Garland, Clark Gable, mm -hmm. the like. Um, and she was known for major films in the 40s, like Ziegfeld Girls and Boomtown. But from what I understand, it wasn't actually her acting that made her so distinguished. It was one of her inventions, right? That's right. She actually patented a device that has literally become the foundation for modern Wi-Fi technology. Like, no big deal. Yeah, no big deal at all. So Gal Gadot yeah. obviously has a lot on her plate when it comes to portraying this power woman. She definitely does. Uh, the series, which hasn't been named yet, will be looking at feminism during Hollywood's golden age and World War II through Lamar's work. So there's definitely a lot of groundbreaking material to cover. It's funny because it seems like Gal Gadot is almost always cast in these power women roles as some sort of symbol of feminism. It's really exciting, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and last month it was actually announced that she'll also be starring in the biggest feature film ever made by Netflix. Right. Uh, it's going to be called Red Notice. She'll be acting alongside Ryan Reynolds, Dwayne Johnson. It should be a crazy ride. Yeah, and the action thriller is actually set to come out in, the, in late 2020, so we have some time, but it's centered around the pursuit of the most wanted art thief in the world. And as for this new Showtime series, it's not clear when it's going to be coming out, but at least we have another Gal Gadot experience ahead of us. Thanks for joining us, Nitney. My pleasure.